Is your Windows PC only boots after a hard reset? Then you are at the right place as we have ways to fix the issue. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. Boot problems as shown in this link are common for PC users. A particularly frequent issue is when a Windows computer only boots up after a hard reset. This video explores the most effective solutions to get your PC booting normally again. Let's get started. Method 1. Reset CMOS Jumper Resetting the CMOS Jumper resets the BIOS settings to its factory defaults, thereby fixing any misconfiguration that prevent the system from booting normally. To reset the jumper, power off the system and open the cabinet cover. Then, locate the CMOS jumper, a 3-pin combination beside the CMOS battery. Move the jumper from the default 1 to 2 position, covering the pins to 2nd and 3rd position. Jumper covering pins 2nd to 3rd instead of 1st to 2nd. Wait for a few minutes, then move the jumper back to the default position 1st to 2nd and power on the system once done. It is advised that the jumper resetting should be performed after checking the motherboard's manual, as the location of the jumper and the settings may not be the same for every manufacturer. Method 2. Replace the CMOS battery and update the BIOS If the CMOS battery dies, the motherboard loses its BIOS settings and fails to boot normally. You can follow this link for the symptoms of CMOS battery failure. However, the power is still applied and the BIOS resets to default settings. Hence, the second boot is successful. Hence, replacing the old CMOS battery with a new one can help the system retain its startup configurations when powered on, allowing it to boot generally at the first instance. BIOS updates can also help fix compatibility issues and improve system stability. You can follow this link to know in details. If the system needs to be reset manually due to issues with the BIOS, the update can also be a possible fix. But you must follow the manufacturer's guidelines while updating BIOS to avoid any undesired changes in the system. Method 3. Contact Support If none of the methods shown in this video fail to resolve the issue, the fault can be at the hardware end. A faulty chip on the motherboard or the graphics card can cause the issue. Hence, a hardware replacement might be the best solution. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.